So in this new tutorial, I would like to walk you through the entire modeling process that I went through to create this scene. So basically, I will share all the tips and tricks that I used to achieve this final results. All right, so let's get started. So after scale matching our reference using the FSpy, you can watch the tutorial down below. Our next step is gonna be to build a basic scene. So we're simply gonna block all the components that we're having in our reference. So basically this step is essential because it's gonna give us clarity and an idea about the shape and the look of our final scene. So basically I have two tips on scale matches. So when any object like building, I want you to make sure that all these objects are well aligned with the floor. So basically their location on the z-axis must be the same. You don't want to have some objects goes up and objects are down. So everything must be on the floor. So the second tip that I would like to share with you is to follow the corners. So when adding objects, make sure that they are aligned with the corners of your reference. So after finishing building our basic scene, I pick the building on the left side and slash operation on it. As you can see, I create that face, that bottom face and add the bevel modifiers so that we can make these corners uh, smooth. After that, I create that garage inset just like this. And also after that, I start working on the pipes. So simply create curve path and start extruding it and create follow the shape of our pipes in our reference. Just like that. After that, add some depth to it. And after that, I want you to add some hooks to connect these pipes with the walls. So these small details are essential if you want to make your scene stand out. Also on the top, I've created these lamps over here. So simple geometry. And after that, I used the array modifier to duplicate it more times. Then I've added the bevel modifier so that we can make these edges over here smooth. And on the top over here, I created some uh, windows. So I used a built-in plugin called Archimesh. All you have to do is to just enable it. And when you add an object, you can see that option to add the window. After that, I start adding those small details. And basically, that's it for the building. And next, I start working on this sewage cap. So following this reference over here, I created some insets of it and insert some edge loops and took these and extrude them. But before that, I did this. I select everything and keep just one quarter. And after that, I've added the mirror modifier just so that we can duplicate that object four times. And also to ignore uh, repeating that same task. After that, all you have to do is to duplicate it all over our scene. And basically, that's it. For the other type of sewage, I followed another technique. So I've added this object over here on the top using the array modifier. And I used the boolean modifier so that we can have it built in inside our sewage cap. Just like this. Also, I've added some bevel modifier to make it look uh, good. Next, I've built the draining system on the right side. So basically create the shape of it. After that, bevel those corners, create that shape. Duplicate it five times using the array modifier. And basically, voila. And after that, I created this sign on the right side of our building. So simply, I create this nice shape, add those handles on the right side, add those pipes, and simply align them with the wall all the way to the ground, then make that turn, just like the case that we're having in our reference. After that, I've added some uh, hooks to connect these pipes with the wall to give our scene, uh, to make our scene looks more credible. Then I've created these traffic cons. So as you can see, this is just a cylinder shape. I've made the bottom of it cubic, give it that cubic shape. And also on the inside, I made it empty, just like in our reference. After that, I duplicated three times. And for this one, I put it on the side, drop it on the side. And after that, I imported uh, some assets like the air conditioner and the trash can, you can find them in the website. And after that, I've added some nice pipes on the right side of our buildings with some nice details on them. Next thing that I did is I added two type of fences, this first one over here and the second one, this one over here. And after that, I've added some trees using the sapling gen tree plugin. It is built in Blender. All you have to do is to activate it and use it. And after that, I've added some switch balls and wires so that we can add these kind of decorations, Chinese decorations on them. And basically that's it. This is the end of modeling our scene. If you want to watch the long format modeling tutorials to get a step-by-step -step guide, you can watch it completely for free on my website, realityfickers.net. Okay, so that's it for this modeling tutorials. In the next section, we're going to be working on materials. How can we create all the materials procedurally in Blender? Okay, so see you soon.